hello everybody welcome back to our channel real pretty mama mint eye if you are is your first time on our channel please do subscribe so that you do not miss the next video and if you are our family here please do continue watching our videos we are so grateful and thank you for watching Today we are going to make an eye cord, lanyard eye cord. So with this lanyard here, I made a lanyard using an eye cord rope. As you can see the rope, beautiful, isn't, isn't so? So I'm going to show you how I made my lanyard, inspired by my daughter's lanyard but i had to make this one instead of buying here another one i decided to know let me just make a lanyard for her so this is what i made and this is what i'm going to show you how i made it so i'm going to use this cotton yarn of course my needle yarn my hook scissor swivel hook and you can add up a day ring any ring that you have to make your make it a key holder or whatever you want to make so let's begin and I'm going to use a size, let me hold it in a proper way, I'm going to use a size 3, there is my size of a crochet, so first thing first, I do not like this blaring stuff i don't know where it's coming from but it just appears for no reason okay guys since we don't have it make a knot there and you chain three there is my chain So normally I like turning my chain the other way, so I just start from the back. So I'm going to start from the second and loop up the chain. Yarn over pull leaving it in your crochet go to the other one yarn over pull now we have three loops on our hook so what you're going to do normally i just like pinching it so that it uh, my yarn doesn't get loose or it doesn't get off my hook so I normally pinch it like this, you can see how it is, so normally I hold it like that, and I'll leave the two stitches, two loops out, draw them out of my hook. And over left with two go to my second yarn over now I have two on my hook yarn over there it is this is how it looks like 
have this light that is a bit destructive for me I don't know maybe because of my yarn okay there it is so we are going to hold it I always have ways of doing my crochet I'm going to get a book here that I'll make shade so that you, you can all see what I'm doing yes I don't have yes I don't have a This is how it is, guys. Hold it there. Remove. Yarn over. While you are holding your your stitches, so that they don't get loose. Yarn over. Yarn over. Our lanyard has already started forming. You can see the stitches are coming right together. It's so okay. You pinch down here, hold it firmly. You let go of the two. Yarn over. Go to your second one. Empty loop it through. And over. Go to the third one. And over. Okay, as you can see, our eye cord has already formed. I hope you. Oh, dear. The lighting there. I hope you guys you've seen what I'm doing. So make sure that your stitch doesn't disappear. On this this part here, this is where you normally hold it. And for your stitches not to get loose, you pinch it with your thumb finger and your middle finger. Then you get loose, you lose, you let go of the two loops. You can see, yarn over, go to the third loop. And over. Look at your eye card. Our eye card, how beautiful it is. Can you see? So you can make your desired length. If it's for the linear, you can make your desired length. But on this one, I made 145 rows. So you can make as long as you want it to be beautiful as in so please do watch till the end so you get our did you know did you know anything about crochet you're going to have watch the end to see how much you know about crochet our did you know crochet until your desired length and then we meet again then i'll show you how to do fasten off so guys i'm done with my cord As you can see i have my 145 
rounds or rows so this is how it looks like so I'm going to join it here I want you to see what I'm doing but the light is not allowing me you remember when I started I had a chain that I've chained three so I'm going to start from the corner there to join now yarn over and go to the second second loop to be in the chain yarn over and then I'll do the last one and over so I have something like this so I'm going to bring out all the loops so I end up having something like that and chain creating this to put my serial hook so I'm going to chain two three four five six I'll add more six seven eight you see how it looks I'll just add more two now I'll put my my swivel I need to cut off my yeah just make enough so that you don't like wool to finish yarn to finish off your work let's put my swivel hook to be just exactly like this and you can add up another ring there if you wish to to hook other things your keys other thing will add up or chain now we'll have our D ring and our swivel hook so now it's time to close it off go remember you're going to cut hole I don't know it's so blurry it is crossing it there I'll slip stitch now I have something looks like that and I'll go down there again on second slip stitch this is how it looks like and then I'll pull my pull my yarn and fasten off. 
there is our wig so we have this that are left you can use the needle just put them inside your stitches so that they don't show because they look this one is shorter you just need to be careful with that just make sure that you put it between between your eye curve don't let it show just let it slide inside your eye curve and pull it you do the same the other one Same side, you are pulling it, just move it inside of the cord. That's enough. Bring it out, you pull your cord. Now your cord is neat. Just pull it a little bit to pull it so that it will stay inside so this is how your eye cord looks like beautiful isn't it you have lanyard this is how our lanyard looks like so guys now it's time for our did you know As I was saying that it's time for our did you know now according to counseling.org crocheting its effects range from migraines and fatigue to heart failure and early memory loss reducing stress reduces disease using knitting or crochet as meditation can be a daily way to minimize effect of stress in your life so guys tell me what you think about this whole relieving stress i'm a living proof i know that it, it did help with me when during lockdown first time when you had lockdown because i didn't know what to do when i was home uh, cleaning and taking care of of children is not it doesn't take stress away because you have to start cleaning and screaming you know what i'm saying but yeah to me it really helped me because that's when i started doing my crochet things so if you have if you are a living proof too would like to hear how it helped you because your experience may help the next person guys thank you for watching like we always say god bless you all peace and stay peachy love you all bye bye and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video